Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, here's another question for you. This is from someone before. This is Stu Podesto. Hey, Todd, thank you for all the different topics uh, you cover to help us uh, individuals out. Your videos and knowledge are priceless. Oh, come on. Keep doing it. Thank you very much. Let me answer your question. Here we go. All right. I have a pretty big battery bank relative to my solar panels. 600 amp hour lithium batteries. Man, that's like two of mine. And I know they're not mine, but okay. So you got a pretty big battery bank. You also have 800 watts of panels. So he's got 600 amp hours. 600 amp hours. Okay. 600 amp hours. That's probably six 100 amp hour batteries at 12 volts. There's 1200 watts in each one of those. 1200 times six puts it around 9,000 watts. He's got 800 watts on the roof. Yeah, so kind of out, out, out of balance there. You take your 800, divide it into the total wattage of your battery bank. That tells you how many hours you need to charge those up. There, that was free. Uh, my demand exceeds the panel's uh, output by a little bit. In other words, he may have a 1,000 watt demand. This panel's producing 800, uh, something like that. So I run the gas generator or plug, uh, plug in the top off when needed, roughly every four to six days. You mean to tell me you're living off of 800 watts and every four to six days you need to charge your batteries and you're asking for help? You know what, first off, Stu Podesto, like turn on some things, right? You know, we live in 2024 where we use electricity, 800 watts. Oh, I have to charge every four to six days. Who would love to have that problem, right? Not talking bad about you, but four to six days? Man, I'd be smiling from ear to ear. All right, here we go. Sorry. Let's finish this. I know he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna respond. He has before. Um, my question is, does not, does not fully charging the lithium system battery regularly have consequences? right? Shorten the life, uh, reduce the total output. Well, of course, if we don't charge it up 100%, we're not going to get 100% out, okay? But here's the question, and it's a good question. Um, does it hurt things inside? Does it shorten the life? Okay, this is where we're going to get technical. It all depends on the brand of batteries you have, okay? Inside a lithium battery, nominal 12-volt lithium battery, depending on the type of cells, let's just say if it's lithium iron phosphate and you have in there prismatic cells, there's going to be four cells inside. Now, I want you to think of four different batteries, four different batteries inside. There's four cells, okay? And those cells need to be balanced. And the only way to balance them, depending on the brand of battery you have, is we've got to charge them up 100%. When we go into float mode, right, we're trying to top off the batteries. But then, depending on your charger, every once in a while we'll go into what we call absorption mode. That's when our batteries are fully charged, but we hit it with a high volt uh, 14.6 volts, maybe 14.5, somewhere around there, and slowly balance it. Can you see if I have four different cells inside, sometimes they'll get out of balance, right? And then whenever I use it, right, whatever the cell is that's the smallest, the BMS is, okay, I can't put any, I can't take any more out. Let's, let's cut it. Let's cut it. Well, if we never get any balancing, the more we use it, the greater the variance between the, the cell that is out of balance versus the others, okay? So it's good from time to time right, at least once every seven days, to stay in absorption mode. And you want to stay in absorption mode for about three hours. Because on average, 30 minutes per 100 amp hours, you got 600 amp hours, you need to at least be in absorption mode, okay, either from a solar panel, right, and you're looking at your solar controller, and your solar controller says absorb, okay, or your inverter charger, and it says absorb once every seven days for at least about three hours, okay? That's kind of the general accepted um, time frame to keep those balanced. Will it happen instantly? In other words, am I gonna shorten the life instantly? Absolutely not, okay? But if you have a 10 year warranty on those batteries and you never balance them, are you only gonna get six, uh, six years out of it, uh, seven years, right? You, you are gonna shorten that life. And I'll tell you, if they go into that BMS and they see that it never went into um, a, a voltage state higher than whatever they, what their parameters are, let's say 14.2, 14.4, chances are they're not going to honor the warranty either. Because in order for that warranty to work, it has to be balanced. 
and you have to give the system the opportunity to balance itself. Now, if you purchase Big Beard batteries where we have internal active balancing taking place at a lower voltage, then there'd be no harm, no foul. Okay, but you already got your batteries, right? So just understand there is a possibility, but it's kind of simple, right? I understand that you have your 800 watts only coming in. From time to time, also turn on the generator, okay? If you're saying every four to six days, right? If you run that generator long enough for your charge system to go into absorb mode and run for a couple hours, you're perfect. Okay, so Stu, thank you for your questions. You're one of the first ones that gets multiple questions answered. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. It's like when you go get a haircut, right? They're working for tips, people. They're working for tips. They're working for tips. Didn't know they were working for tips. All right, here we go. 900 thousand no bam look at there was that four or five four or five man so the month of august is done people